Hey YouTubers, this is Rob Moffat. I'm bringing you a little video that's completely different from the videos I normally bring you. It's a video on a very important subject. It's uh, liquid thorium reactors. I think it's an excellent source of alternative energy for the future. If you want to take a few moments to look at the video that follows this, it's a short two minute video and there'll be a link to where you can find a lot more at the end. Thanks everybody. You know what I was asking to name him? and then I was shot down was Deckard. Deckard? Like from Blade Runner Deckard? Yeah. No. I can beat up every day. If we amplify the scope of both wind and solar, then those methods give us life support. Wind is quoted in terms of its capacity. Like you'll say, this is a three megawatt windmill. If I have a 3,000 megawatt nuclear plant, a thousand of these windmills are equivalent to one of these. The wind is only blowing about 15% of the time. That correlation becomes absolutely meaningless. Coal and gas plants are able to release radioactive materials to the environment in much greater amounts than a nuclear plant would ever possibly be allowed to. A coal plant is dirty, it's smelly, it's filthy, and it's dripping. You know, we had Bronze Age, and we had Iron Age, and we had the Industrial Revolution. I really think hundreds of years from now they'll say there was a thorium age that began. We don't have to mine anything because there's a thousand years worth of thorium in the Lemmy Pass mine between Montana and Oregon. And that mine is a 1,400-acre plot. There's about as many people here as we were at our first Thorium Energy Alliance conference. Uh, <laughs> this kind of group of people, which exists in a lot of cities right now, care passionately about this kind of thing. I wish our government to some extent was a little bit more uh, um, economically astute. Thorium just literally drops out like a rock and you have it. The reactor that we work on sends neutrons into thorium. Why is the federal government not accelerating research in liquid fluoride thorium reactors? This is the kind of idea Washington needs to know about. <laughs> Electricity can be about half the price of coal. The cost of thorium is negligible because we, we have it anyway. You know, we can have world peace and, and not fight over limited resources. The Chinese have been stockpiling it for years. China's monopolized rare earths. Very aggressively. The next move is to control global IP for thorium energy. Thorium, 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 thorium. Dude, what the heck is thorium?